3D printing is an amazingly useful tool, especially when you have a microscope in need of a ring light and don't want to spend money on a pre-made one or you don't like the design of the pre-made one or a combination of both. I'm sure many of you have one or more of these NeoPixel clones lying around and I am no exception. So I decided it is bright enough to make an acceptable ring light. Design is often an iterative prototyping process and 3D printing lends itself very well to it. I started with a 3D model in Fusion 360. The initial thought was to have a part that is always mounted on a microscope to which the ring light can snap on like a lens cap. I wanted to try incorporating the spring for the mounting mechanism into the ring light holder. That didn't work out quite as planned as the spring is too stiff, but I'll try to use the idea on a later project. Since simple is almost always better, I went with the idea of mounting the ring light holder to the microscope by using the thread for the lens cap. I used the variable layer height function in the Prusa edition slicer to cut down on printing time, as fine tolerances are only needed in the thread portion. After revising the holder where the bottom layers are used as a diffuser, I came to the conclusion that the tolerance of the mounting piece are not quite where I want them. So another redesign and a couple of failed first layers with gaps around the perimeters later, I finally had something I liked. The end result is a three-piece solution where the NeoPixel clone goes into a holder with a lid that holds it in place and the whole thing is mounted to the scope using the thread. As a side note, I am really fascinated by the printer's ability to print such fine details as an M48 thread with a pitch of 0.75mm. Talking to the NeoPixel clone is fairly straightforward. The LEDs are arranged in parallel and are driven by 5V. The data line is daisy chained between them, and by using the Arduino with the FastLED library, one can get them to light up pretty quickly. For prototyping purposes, I use an old Arduino Mega, but at this stage, this is just a proof of concept. The final product will probably feature something much smaller, like an AT Tiny. In the end, I decided to make a version of the ring light holder with holes in it as to increase the maximum brightness from the LEDs. And that's about it for this episode. Check in again next week to see the final product.